Traveling is one of the most rewarding experiences for many. However, the fear of traveling, otherwise known as hodophobia, is a real thing for a lot of people. In fact, this fear can be so intense that potential travelers often miss out on trips abroad due to this plundering phobia. Keep watching as we explain the seven best ways to cope with the fear of traveling. Tip number one is to thoroughly plan ahead to help ease a fear of traveling. It's without a doubt that planning ahead for your trip will help to ease your fear of traveling. Researching a hotel you may be staying at, obtaining travel insurance, and mapping out all routes to be taken will help make your travels go a lot smoother. You can even look up restaurants and entertainment that may be nearby where you're staying to have something to look forward to. If you're going to a destination that doesn't speak your native language, it may be a good idea to memorize some common words and phrases or download a translation app like Google Translate. Before you travel, be sure to contact your mobile provider of traveling abroad and have a temporary international plan set up to avoid costly fees. When traveling, always be sure to give yourself ample time by arriving early for flights, transit, reservations, etc. The extra time will act as a security barrier and help you relax during your time away from home. Keep in mind that sometimes things don't always go as planned and are beyond our control, such as the weather, traffic delays, and more. Be sure to have a backup plan of action should anything change. By following these suggestions, we can almost guarantee that your fear will be reduced when traveling abroad. Tip number two is to try and bring a friend or loved one along for your travels. Never underestimate the impact a travel companion can have for those with hodophobia. Friends and family can often go above and beyond for us. If you're faced with an intense fear of traveling, it may be best to avoid traveling alone if possible. Ask someone you know and trust to tag along for the trip. Be sure to express your fears and concerns to this person before departing so they know what to expect. When they've been given a heads up, it'll be easier for a travel companion to know what to do in order to support you. The longer the trip may be, the more benefits of having a travel buddy by your side. They can help you stay calm in dire situations, assist with grabbing luggage, checking bags, hailing a cab, or asking for directions. If you find yourself in a potential panic while traveling, your company can help to take over while you regain composure. It may sound silly, but just having someone by your side will already help cope with the fear of traveling itself when you know you're not alone. Tip number three is to limit caffeine and alcohol. Instead, hydrate and try eating healthier. Although you may want to be alert and wide awake while traveling, caffeine may not be the best idea. That morning cup of joe may actually work against your best interest since caffeine is a stimulant and as a result can trigger anxiety and panic attacks. Similarly, a nightcap may also function in a similar way to caffeine. Although it may seem to be relaxing, alcohol can cause dehydration, which in turn can cause anxiety. Having a fear of traveling is an anxious feeling to begin with, so the idea is to limit and avoid what can trigger this feeling. When going away, opt for healthier choices and stay hydrated. Always be sure to carry water with you and pack healthy snacks, including fruits and veggies, nuts, granola bars, dark chocolate, or whole grain crackers. Processed foods and a high sodium diet can also lead to dehydration, which should really be avoided to ensure your travels go as anxiety-free as possible. Tip number four is to know the triggers for your traveling phobia, so if and when they hit, you're not as freaked out. And just breathe. Being familiar with a panic attack caused by a fear of traveling can actually help you prepare for it should the situation arise. If you have hodophobia, you might have been faced with the following feelings. Rapid breathing, increased heart rate, feeling dizzy or flushed, abdominal pain like diarrhea or nausea, dry mouth, loss of appetite, and sore muscles. Perhaps you've experienced one or more of the following symptoms. If you do find yourself faced with any of the mentioned feelings, try to take deep breaths. Taking four to five deep and slow breaths in and out of your nose when you begin to experience any of these feelings will significantly help. Repeat the breathing exercise as often as needed until the anxious symptoms lessen. It may help even more to close your eyes while you breathe in and out, slowly and deeply. Try thinking about a more pleasant thought, such as a cute animal or a warm memory. These warm and fuzzy thoughts can help shift the focus away Away from a panic attack so you can soon return to feeling more grounded. Tip number five is to know what causes your fear of traveling to better understand its commonality. Typically, there are two main things that cause a fear of traveling. The first is generally associated with a previous negative experience one had while traveling. Perhaps your luggage was lost or stolen, or you witnessed an unpleasant event. Maybe the plane's turbulence you experienced was like none you've gone through before. Whatever the case may be, these memories can trigger anxiety, which manifests itself into a fear of traveling. The second reason for experiencing hodophobia is from significant world events that are beyond your control. For instance, the SARS epidemic or COVID-19 pandemic. Traveling during a pandemic or uncertain time can cause an unpleasant negative experience that can become a fear for many. Perhaps an international tragedy or protest may have broken out before one's travels. This too can cause a deep-rooted fear beyond anyone's control. It may be best to identify what truly is causing your phobia to better understand how you can overcome
overcome and treat it. Tip number six is to make yourself feel at home. An ideal way to take your mind off the fear of traveling is to make yourself cozy in all the ways you see fit. Perhaps when you're at home, you love to sit back and watch a comedy flick. Watching a film on the plane's TV or at your lodgings can help ease anxiety as it makes you feel familiar and offers a more pleasant distraction away from any worries or fears. If you like to kick back at home wearing comfy loungewear, then go ahead and wear it out. If you can, it's best to wear loose and comfortable clothing that's easy to move around in while traveling. The feeling of being restricted may limit movements and add to anxiety. Also, be sure to wear proper footwear if you're planning to walk. It's ideal so you can get comfortably from point A to B without that restricted feeling we mentioned. If you enjoy listening to music at home, it may also be a good idea to bring those tunes along with you. Music can soothe you, especially songs that you enjoy most. Bringing along your music and using headphones can offer a therapeutic remedy and help distract you away from the hustle and bustle of traveling. Tip number seven is to consider visiting a doctor if you feel it is needed. When all else fails, it may be a wise decision to seek professional medical help. Ask yourself the following questions to help determine if hodophobia may be hindering your quality of life. Do I feel anxious when I travel or think of traveling? Do I have a fear of traveling to work, school, or elsewhere? Have I turned down a job for fear of traveling? Did I not get to go on a trip with loved ones because I'm scared to travel? Has my fear of traveling impacted any relationships? Do I feel depressed when I think about my fear of traveling? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, it may be in your best interest to speak with a mental health professional about treating hodophobia. The sooner you take action, the quicker a resolution can happen. You will likely feel better than ever before and ready to travel. No one enjoys living with a phobia. Although fear of flying or claustrophobia may be associated with hodophobia, the fear of traveling is generally broader and therefore can be more troublesome to overcome. However, by following our tips, we believe that this fear can be left at bay so you can get on with your life and travel where you need to go. So, what do you think of our tips for managing hodophobia? Do you think that these seven ways can help you cope with your fear of traveling? Do you have any other suggestions for fearful travelers? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.